Hi, I welcome you to this presentation about the musical archive of the Medina Cathedral of Malta. I would like to thank the National Library for inviting me for this presentation entitled Striking a Core. My name is Mario Gauci, um, I am the archivist of the Metropolitan Cathedral of Malta and I am responsible for various documents including the musical archive which contains more or less 6,000 musical pieces. This overview is based on a text written by a musicologist and an academic, Dr. Frederick Acolina, and I'm going to speak about what he did uh, in the past years in terms of the studies on, on the collection of Medina Cathedral Archives, in terms of music. This presentation summarizes the historical records concerning music found at the Cathedral Archive of Malta. It is by no means an exhaustive overview of all the primary sources and music-related documents and resources preserved in the archives, but a general idea of the unique music collections held at Imdina. Following the discovery of hundreds of old musical manuscripts and rare printed works back in 1968 and their location in 1969 at the Cathedral Museum, the music was classified and catalogued. In 2004, the new premises for the archive were inaugurated at Angie's Palace, Villa Gagnon Street, Medina. It may come as a surprise to know that the archive holds over 6,000 musical manuscripts and printed works. Among the earliest surviving music codices preserved in the archive are two antiphonaries in Aquitanian notation that have been dated by the French scholar Michel Houglot to the middle of the 13th century and the first half of the 12th century. Of a later period are the six royal graduals written on parchment which date from the second half of the 16th century. The graduals were commissioned by Bishop Martino Royas. Another set of early color music books dating from the 16th century are two antiphonaries that were the property of Bishop Thomas Gargallo. The main centre for the performance of church music in Malta was the Medina Cathedral. The earliest archival documents that provide us with details about the first musical activity enable us to situate the beginnings of the church music towards the end of the 15th century, with such names as Johannes de Rapis and Lorenzo Vagnolo the first organist to be engaged to serve from 1494 onwards. The first history of the Cappella Musicale of the Cathedral has been written by the late Reverend Monsignor Jonathan Zopardi, affectionately known as Don Juan, then curator of the archives, who published his first work, La Cappella Musicale della Cattedrale di Malta e i suoi rapporti con la Sicilia. The oldest prints found at the archive are Il Libro Quarto delle Messe d'Intavolatura d'Organo by Claudio Merulo, published in Venice in 1568. The second oldest prints are the Responsoria Quattro Voci per il Natale e l'Epifania by the Sicilian Guido Oristanio, published in Palermo in 1602. The first musical events that had a direct influence on the music scene in Malta are those from the contemporary Sicilian polyphonic school. A number of early printed works found at the archives shed light on the kind of liturgical music that may have been performed there in the 17th century. Among the works are the collection Sacri Concerti con una messa a tre e quattro voci, a messa ai salmi di Vespero, ed compieta by the leading Sicilian composer Vincenzo Amato. Several Sicilian musicians were employed to direct the Cappella Musicale of the Cathedral during the 17th century, including are the names of Giovanni Paolo La Forgia, Antonio Campochiaro, Andrea Rinaldi, Giuseppe Ferraro, 
and Antonio Mortulana. Other printed works by various Italian composers, mainly coming from Naples, Rome and Venice, are those several who were also active in Sicily. Among the prominent names are Giovanni Francesco Anerio, Claudio Monteverdi, Alessandro Grandi, Giuseppe Rovetta, Boraventura Robino, Giacomo Carissimi, Giovanni Antonio Rigatti and Agostino Stefani. The archive also possesses copies of and autographs scores by various Italian composers dating from the 17th to the 19th century and are catalogued manuscripts number 1 to 110 approximately. Primarily, music in this category includes important manuscripts such as Claudio Monteverdi Contrafactum Ecce Panis Angelorum, numbered musical manuscript 47, which is a unique copy only to be found in the world. Unquestionably, the most substantial possessions found in the archives are the numerous collection of autographed manuscripts by Maltese composers that play a major role in the history of our music. Of particular importance are the earliest surviving excerpts by the brothers Giuseppe Balzano and Domenico, both of whom served as Maestri di Cappella of the cathedral around the mid-17th century onwards. Domenico Balzano's motet Venite Omnes, dated 1680, was recorded on a CD in 1995 by the English conductor Edward Higginbottom. The work, which was performed again at the Cathedral of Malta on 10th May 2021 on the occasion of a Mass in memory of Don Juana Zopardi by the Cathedral organist Reverend Aurelio Monestanio, the soprano Daniela Briffa and the alto Anne-Marie Sherry. The few scores by Pietro Gristi, Maestro di Cappella from 1717 up to his death in 1738, are located primarily in the Cospicua Parish Archive, but photocopies of them are held at the Cathedral Archives. These works were recorded way back in 2002 and included a Beatus Vir, a basso solo con ripieni, an easy dominus, a basso solo, and a messa dated 1729, which the Cospicua parish authorities have generously donated to the archive where it is now kept. Further, a manuscript of Grishti's five motetti a quattro voci per la processione di San Gregorio were copied by his pupil Beninio Zerafa in his early years as a student and it is likewise held at the Cathedral Archive. Without doubt, the two major collections of autograph scores are those by Benigno Zerafa and Francesco Azzopardi, who both served in succession as Maestri di Cappella of the Cathedral from the mid-18th century to the early 19th century. Francesco Zopardi succeeded Zerafa as a director of music in 1786 and served first as acting maestro till Zerafa's death in 1804, then as maestro di cappella till his death in 1809. Other scores by numerous composers are also found, including those by Vincenzo Zerafa, who was Benigno Zerafa nephew and four-time organist of the cathedral, and Pietro Paolo Bugeia and his son Vincenzo, the latter two also serving in succession as Maestro di Cappella of the Third Church during the 19th century. Several sacred and operatic works by Girolamo Abos and Maltese composers who studied and lived in Naples exist solely in foreign libraries or online, but the archive has obtained copies of a number of sacred works from these institutions including the Benedictus Dominus, Deus Israel, and the Dixit Dominus, both for five voices, and the Messa Due Cori. This is held by the Conservatorio San Pietro a Maiella in Naples, a Stabat Mater for three voices. The archive also possesses a significant number of musical manuscripts by various composers, some of whom have served as Maestro di Cappella of the Cathedral Church, that have been given as a donation to the archive for posterity. These collections 
are classified as private donations by patrons, donations by relatives of the composers, or donations by the composers themselves during their lifetime. Among the manuscripts donated are the Nani collection, donated by the late Maestro Paul Nani. And this comprises scores by Emanuele, Agostino, Vincenzo, Dr. Paolo, Anton, Paul and all the Nani generation. The Vella family collection donated separately by Miss Edwidge Camilleri and Mr. Anthony Vella of Slima, which together comprise scores by Dr. Giuseppe Vella and his son Alberto, Luigi and Paolo. The Giuseppe Caruana collection donated by the composer's daughter and Beecher and her brother, Reverend Anton, consists mainly of scores by the father, the composer Giuseppe Caruana, and includes numerous popular church hymns. Carmelo Pace's entire collection of sacred, secular and instrumental works was donated by the composer himself. The operas were donated to the Manuel Theatre and are preserved in the library of the said theatre in Valletta. The Giuseppe Camilleri collection, donated by his wife and daughter of Slema, comprise 437 scores by the Camilleri composers, including Agostino's works, Enrico Vincenzo Gavino Ferdinando, Emanuele and Giuseppe, and all the Camilleri generation. This collection also boasts a rare but incomplete score for wind band titled Passio Doppio by Alessandro Curni and a copy of Emanuele Gallia's popular Christmas Sinfonia di Pastorale. The Joseph Abella Scolaro collection donated by the widow of the composer comprises um, 181 scores mainly by Abella Scolaro and various other composers. The Gallia Misura collection, donated by the Gallia family of Valletta, comprises 856 scores, mainly by the composer, the Senglian composer, Francesco Malia Cassar. Other works by various composers are those by Josi Malia Pulverenti, Carlo Diacono. Pulverenti's Impressione Sinfonica was recorded on CDs in 1992 whereas Diaconos Oratorio, San Paolo Evangelizza in Maltesi, was performed way back in 2009. It must be said that there is also a collection of 22 loose parchment folios, eight of which were compiled by Don Mauro Anguanitz, former librarian of the Malta National Library, a Maltese Benedictine monk who served at Monte Cassino Abbey within the south of Rome. The folios consist mainly of Gregorian chants, parchment and other folios in pneumatic notation that were extracted from various liturgical books. Other collections of music by composers Father Daniel Samut, Luigi Greglandolini and Anton Azzopardi have lately been added to the musical archive of the cathedral. In 2017, the Metropolitan Chapter inaugurated a professional internet site bringing the magnificent collections of the archives to the attention of the general public. In 1976, a vocal and instrumental concert by Johann Strauss School of Music directed by Alessandro Masha, the first musical director to revive old music from the archive, presented the Sinfonia by Francesco Zopardi to the general public. For the next 40 years, the history of the Maltese music benefited from a series of concerts during which several composers were performed, including Andrea Rinaldi and Antonio Campochiaro, two composers of the 17th Sicilian Polyphonic School, who were active in Malta, and the Maltese composers Giuseppe and Domenico Balsano, Pietro Gristi, Benigno Zerafa, Francesco Zopardi, and the works also of Pietro Paolo Bugeia. Performances of works from the archive by international conductors, either in Malta or abroad, have taken place regularly in the later years. The premiere of Benigno Zerafa's Messa Due Cori and the Dixit Dominus took place in France in 1998 and in 2004, respectively, under the French director Jean-Marc Labille. 
In 2018, there was the premiere of Zarafa's two major works from 1756, the Dixit Dominus a due cori and the Mess a due cori. These took place in the Cathedral of Malta at Indina, under the same director. A concert of Zarafa's Improperia per il Venerdì Santo by the Ghislieri Choir and Concert, directed by Giulio Prandi, took place in 2015. This concert has been broadcasted on BBC. In the same month, Zerafa's Messa Pastorale was performed at Zeytun by the Piccola Accademia di Montisi under the Italian director Marco Mincoboni. Quite a substantial number of audio recordings were issued in the form of CDs, both locally and internationally. Among the most important is a series of three CDs titled Le Manuscrit de Malt, the, Man the Malta Manuscripts, published by the Studio Sam of France. One of the latest international releases under the German label Classic Production Osnabrück is a CD titled Gerolomo Abos and Maltese Christmas, published in 2015 with the participation of Colner Academy, directed by Michael Alexander Willens. The work comprises professional recordings of three sacred works by Abos the Magnificat, the Benedictus Dominus Deus Israel, and the Messa Due Cori. The works were initially performed and recorded for the TV channel Mezzo during the Valletta International Baroque Festival in 2015 and were also broadcasted internationally. One project, now discontinued, recorded on CDs is um, the work entitled Christmas in Baroque Malta and draws on 17th century works from the Cathedral Archives. This CD was produced by the Rose Ensemble under the American director Jordan Jramek. Also, the Lankwitz Volks Ensemble of Germany under the direction of Burkhard Werner have performed a concert of a number of chants from the Aquitanian Codices at the Medina Cathedral during Lent in 2015. In June 2018, these works were performed in the Cathedral Museum under the direction of Werner himself with the participation of the Maltese choirists and choir masters. Imdina has the only surviving source of major work by Bonaventura Rubino, the Vespero dello Stellario con Sinfonie ed altre Salmi, dated 1655, with the original title Salmic Vari Variamente Concertati con Sinfonie d'Obbligo. Uh, reference numbers printed work 132. The work was recorded in 2003 on the French label by Gabriel Garrido. In 2016, a performance of the Messa de Morti a Cinque Concertata, also by Rubino, was given at the Jesuit Church in Valletta as part of the Valletta International Baroque Festival. The only extant printed copy of the now lost manuscript score is also preserved in the Medina Cathedral Archive. The work was recorded previously on CD in 2015 on the label Tactus by Vincenzo di Betta and the ensemble La Cantoria Campitelli of Rome. Locally, a number of CDs and concerts were sponsored by the Fondazione Memoria Culturale Nazionale when they were issued starting way back in 2001. These include the works of Balzano, Mataron, Zerafa, Zopardi, Nani, Caruana, under the direction of the late Professor Joseph Vella. The APS also sponsored a series of CD recordings and concerts. Launched in 2003 and involving various musical directors, this series explored music by Maltese composers from the archive, including the works of Abos, Zerafa, Zopardi, the Nani composers, the Luigi Vella and Giuseppe Caruana. Other works were, were recorded on CDs, including a concert Tenebre, which featured music for Lent by Petro Paolo Bugeia and Anton Nani, and the Nani's famous Requiem, published and recorded in 2016. A new project for the music of Gelora Moabos, directed by Mar Marco Bencoboni, is currently in progress, with the help of local contributors. There are also various plans for international concerts, the main interest being works from the 17th and the 18th century. 
Numerous works from the archives have been performed at the Valletta International Baroque Festival since 2013. The popular French TV channel Mezzo has regularly shown interest in the promotion of Maltese music, being premiered at these concerts. The first exit being the concluding movement of Zerafa's 1743 Messa Due Cori, which the composer wrote at the age of 17, performed by the Orchestra of the Age of the Enlightenment in 2003, directed by James Barton. I shall conclude with an excerpt from Benigno Zerafa's Messa Due Cori, dated 1743, the Cum Sancto Spirito part, performed in 2013 at St. John's Concathedral in Valletta.